Hi, this is Dr. Amy Ludeman Lazar from Kidstown Dental, and today I wanted to make a little video for parents who have come into our office. And when we saw your child for the examination, myself or one of my associates noticed that your child's tongue looked like it may have a tongue tie. So I wanted to bring some clarity to this. Um, mainly, in the last several years, um, particularly in the last decade, there has been an explosion of research on tongue ties. Um, it's very easy in a young baby to diagnose a tongue tie because they haven't had time to develop what we call compensations. Um, if their palate is high, it's generally high because the tongue hasn't been lifting and shaping the palate as it should because of a restriction. And tongue um, function swallowing starts at 16 to 20 weeks in utero. So it's very clear in babies what's a tongue tie and what's not. But as we get older, you might have a high palate, for example, from having sucked your thumb or a pacifier for years. So because things change for lots of reasons as we grow, someone can look like um, they have a tongue tie or a restriction in their movement. So we check for what's called extension, the tongue to go out like this. Um, and we also check for elevation, which we now know is one of the most important functions in keeping the tongue up and out of the airway. So we actually have your child extend their tongue and then we use our fingers with gloves on to do a certain little maneuver that lifts to show us elevation. And so when we say there's a suspected tongue tie, it oft often means maybe it's not an obvious anterior tongue tie that pretty much anyone can see, but the tongue is attached more forward than is normal and the elevation appears to be less than what it should. So if we notice that, because the research is now clear that a tongue tie is a marker for sleep apnea, and because currently in the US, 80% of our population has some form of sleep disordered breathing, which for children, I mean, it's a big problem in adults, certainly, um, but for children, we're talking about effect of cognition, ability to focus in school, just their overall sense of well-being, behavior problems, lots and lots of issues can emerge when there's a problem um, at nighttime with breathing. And a tongue, if it is restricted, will rest in the bottom or middle of the mouth. And when we fall asleep, and that tongue, all the eight paired muscle of the tongue gets relaxed like the rest of our body gets relaxed, it can either greatly reduce the volume of air or the, it creates a smaller opening so that there's this negative pressure um, and that can cause challenges with breathing which lead to a whole host of other physiological issues. So if the tongue is truly restricted with fibers, we need to know that and we need to address that. Sometimes what looks like a tongue tie can actually be a child is having some other issues down the line, some connective tissue issues, but basically, what we're, why I'm making this video and why we've told you about it is because we want you to come back to our office for a no-charge evaluation where our myofunctional therapist is going to go through a more extensive evaluation. It's actually a 9 to 13 page assessment. She can tweak it down just a little bit, but we're going to determine is this truly restrictive embryonic fibers that should have dissolved in utero and so therefore a tongue tie that needs to be treated with a procedure called a phrenectomy, or is this not a tongue tie, but it's poor tongue functioning? And so if we can differentiate that for you, one, you can know if your child has a tongue tie or not and proceed with treatment if the child needs it, but if not, and it's something else going on, it still may be impacting breathing, silent reflux, which can lead to cavities, um, lots and lots of other issues, malocclusion that lead to the need for braces, which braces will make the teeth look straight again, but you have a 100% chance of relapse when you lose your retainer because you didn't fix the tongue problem that created the need for braces in the first place. So if there's just tongue functioning issue that needs to be addressed, we can also let you know what that is and give you some information on how we might help the child to correct the tongue function. So again, this video is for those of you who we said, we're not 100% certain, but we suspect that there's a tongue tie. We'd like you to come back for a no charge evaluation in which we'll perform the validated protocol and let you know with certainty if there is or is not. And then we'll guide you with what the next steps are based on our findings. I hope this video has clarified what might not have been clear the day of the visit. Sometimes just absorbing it is a little bit hard. And we look forward to seeing you soon and helping to differentiate um, what's going on in your child at this next important visit. Thank you so much.